Hands down, one of my favorite things to clip in the mix is the snare drum. So let's dive into the DAW and see just how easy it is to retain the punch and impact of our snare using BSA Clipper. Okay, so here we are in the session. Now we're just gonna listen to a little bit of the song and then we're gonna address a couple issues with the snare drum. Here we go. Okay, so the biggest problem I'm seeing with this snare drum is that it's peaking quite high. And I know that's gonna cause us a lot of problems later on down the chain, especially on our two bus, when we're trying to tr uh, tame that transient while retaining all the punch and impact. So one great thing we can do here is clip the signal. So let's jump over to our mixer and on the snare bus, I'm gonna load up BSA Clipper. Now, as you can see, this is a super intuitive plugin. We just have two controls. We have an input gain, and then we have a clipper threshold. And all this does is set the ceiling for when the signal gets clipped. And on the right-hand side here, you'll see a nice light blue meter show up to show you exactly how much you're clipping. Now, our goal here is we want to bring down the dynamic range of the snare drum while at the same time not completely destroying the punch and impact that we are we're trying to get out of this snare so let's go ahead and do that now All right, so it's that simple. Now I'm gonna play back the track one more time and I want you to pay attention to this snare bus meter. And when the plugin is bypassed, we're gonna be hitting, the peak of the snare is gonna be hitting between minus six and minus three. Whereas when we engage the plugin, it's gonna be hitting around between minus 10 and minus six, but we're still gonna have that perceived loudness. We're not gonna lose any punch or impact out of the snare.